this is Artifacts of Mars, and this one is really hot, apparently. An Australian woman who's a ride to be, she was living in Minneapolis, she was shot and killed by a S Somali immigrant cop after being startled by a wild sound near his patrol car investigated say. Officer Mohammed Noor, 31, began blasting 40-year-old Justine Diamond of Minneapolis just moments after he and his partner, Matthew Harrity, heard the noise in the alley behind her house, according to the State Bureau of Criminal Apprehension. The agency provided an update Tuesday on their investigation in the Saturday night shooting. Officers Noor and Harrity had been called to Diamond's home after she had called 911 to report a possible sexual assault happening behind her residence. Investigators said Noor, who was sitting on in the passenger seat, shot Sydney Borden, yoga instructor, instructor through the driver's side window, striking her in the abdomen as she approached their vehicle. She was still wearing her pajamas. So, this apparently is a normal thing. You shoot women in, uh, blind women in their pajamas. While Nurez refused to be interviewed, Harrity spoke, chose to speak with investigators on Tuesday, along with his lawyer, Fred Bruno. He described what went down Saturday, both before and after the shooting, as they approached the alley behind Diamond's home. Officer Harrity indicated he was startled by a loud sound near the squad. Investigators said in a press release. So, what? You are uh, shoot at sounds now? Immediately afterwards, Diamond approached the driver's side window of the squad. Harrity indicated that Officer Noor discharged his weapon, striking Diamond through open driver's side window. So this guy was sitting in the passenger seat, passenger seat and shot across his partner, apparently. Officers immediately exited the squad and provided medical attention until so medical personnel arrived. When we said Diamond was pronounced out of the scene. Officers Noor and Harrity, who had been on the force for 21 months, one year respectively, have both been placed on standard administrative leave as authorities continue to piece together what happened. During this interview with investigators, Harrity claimed to seeing a white male between ages of 18 and 25 bicycling toward Diamond's house immediately before the shooting. This individual stopped at the scene and watched his officers provide medical assistance to... And this makes no sense because they called her... Uh, so her last name is Diamonds. Diamond. It says they provided medical assistance to... Rushjik, or however you pronounce that. BCA agents like speaking with this person and anyone else who may have witnessed the incident. I'm going to scroll down. Scroll down. Diamond's death has sparked widespread outrage in both USA and Australia. I should think so. I mean, you don't normally sit there and plug a blonde-haired woman in her pajamas at night. You just don't do it. On Tuesday, but here's the uh, thing. The media is already circling the wagons, so to speak. On Tuesday, several Minneapolis police officers who, like Noor, are Somali-American, spoke anonymously to Star Tribune about fearing for their lives in the wake of the incident. This is scaring our families, explained one officer who spoke on behalf of the group. It's difficult to deal with some media groups going to other Somali officers' houses who are not involved with the shooting. It makes it hard to do this job when you're worried about your family. Well, uh, excuse me. The media is trying to find out what's going on with this. Uh, well, this is a very bad thing. All right, and it has caused international anger. 
now. What I'm uh, hearing is that a certain religion, uh, religion, religious beliefs may be responsible for the actions of this officer. I'm Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.